Hey, this is Tickle and this is the Necrotic Wake Too Long Didn't Read Guide. And check out the Google Doc where you can copy and paste the boss fights into your chat to save your party. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, whenever you see these gatekeepers, you need to focus them down first. They're going to summon ads through those portals. You want to kill them dead. Now for the first boss, someone will get targeted with a vomit. Everyone else get away from that player. After the vomit goes out, there will be three ads. You need to CC and kill those ads before they touch you. If they touch you, they're going to do huge damage. And if they explode, it's going to be basically a wipe or your healer is going to swear at you a lot. Otherwise, you need to basically tank the boss away from these puddles as the heavy wretch goes out, so make sure to clear a path to the entrance. If you are Kyrian, you can activate these deactivated Goliaths, which will give you some additional damage. If you're Kyrian, just summon your little buddy he, and then talk to him. The next trash portal to look out for are these guys. You want to make sure that they don't get off rasping screen. This will fear your group, so just get your interrupt finger ready because they're, it's a pretty quick cast. And then the last group of ads we need to talk about, number one, you need to target down the Necromancer's number one. Interrupt the frost volleys going out from the ads around them and just kill the Necromancer. Once he dies, everybody else dies. Mazel tov. On to the next boss. The next boss, what you need to do is he's going to similarly spawn some uh, ads that you need to DPS down right away. You want to interrupt those frost uh, bolt volleys, group them up if you can, and then kill them dead. You need to do that very quickly before he tries to make them explode, doing huge damage. Otherwise, you need to interrupt the boss and watch out for his frontal cone. Otherwise, you need to look out for, if you're the healer, for a unholy frenzy, which will do a lot of damage to the tank. You need to tank the ads in the middle of the room. The ads will target someone with a red arrow that's going to throw a hook at them. You need to go between the boss on the platform and the ad, and then as soon as the red arrow solidifies, you need to move out of the way, because what's going to happen is that arrow's going to be a hook, it's going to go to the platform, grab the boss, pull him down. Now, what you have to look out for is the boss then, who should be your focus target, is going to fixate on somebody. You want to make sure that you run away if he fixates on you or else he will one-shot you. Now to the last boss. The last boss, you want to be spread out around the room. Someone's going to be hit by frozen bind. You need to make sure that you run out of frozen bind, the big circle, because once the healer dispels that, it will root anyone else that's in that circle. So it's up to everyone else to get out of there. Then, only then, does the healer dispel that. Otherwise, there's going to be a whole lot of comet storms of icy shit that's coming down from the ceiling, you want to make sure that you're running around and not running in other people's paths, almost like a game of snake. A certain DPS is going to be picked up and pulled off the platform down below. You want to make sure you run through the gauntlet and kill that one ad and then get back on those angel wings and get your ass back up there. Once you're up there, you're going to defeat the boss by rinsing and repeating this. It's not very tough. Now, that's a too long, didn't read version of this dungeon guide. I hope you like it. I want to make it as fast as possible for you. You're probably in the dungeon right now, so get back to it. Remember that we have the Google Doc and make sure to join the Discord or the Twitch or the Twitter to make sure that we have the best guide possible for you. Thanks, and good luck in the dungeon.